Hi guys, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and in this video we are going to see some positional trades which we have taken on Thursday. During the close of the market we entered certain positions in Nifty as well as Bank Nifty. So majority of the positions are in Nifty and some positions are in Bank Nifty. So we are going to review what exactly are the positions that we have taken. We are also going to see some chart data as well as we are also going to see some option chain data to see what we expect from the market in the coming week and what positions we have taken and what is the payoff of this position. So this is going to be a very short video. We are going to try and understand how exactly the position payoff is actually looking like. So in case the market moves beyond our break even, we'll be doing further adjustments and I'll be providing the update on that soon in the YouTube videos, right? And before moving on to the video, there are two more important things which I would like to tell. One is regarding the free courses, which is available on our website courses.optionables.in. And one more thing is our broker, Fustock, is having an offer where you have free brokerage up till 30th of September. So if you're interested, you can definitely check that out from the link in the description. And finally, you can also follow us on other social media platforms such as Telegram, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. The link to the same is provided in the description below. So do check that out as well. Thank you so much for joining and we'll be quickly moving on to the video now. Hi guys, welcome to another video by Optionables. So in this video, we are going to see the current positions which we hold and review them. So we are going to put this on strategy builder and see what are the payoffs that we are going to get. And we are also going to discuss some chart patterns as well as open interest data to see where we actually expect the market to trade this coming week. So you can see that uh, in Bank Nifty, we only have 1000 quantity shorted, whereas in Nifty, we have a lot of quantities shorted, totally 6000. So first we'll look at the open interest and later we'll look at the chart pattern and then finally we will put this on the strategy builder and try to understand how exactly our payoff is going to look. So now when we actually open the option chain of Nifty from NSE website, today I am actually opening it from NSE website because Sensible it is still not updated, it is still showing 9th of September itself. Right here you can see equal amount of put contracts as well as call contracts. Put contracts are slightly higher, but it is more or less equal. So this is suggesting that you're neither expecting a lot of bullishness nor you're neither expecting a lot of bearishness. So it is more of range bound what you're expecting because there is equal amount of puts and calls written. So now when we come and look at the individual contracts also, we see some strong writing coming in at 17,300 as well as 200. Whereas on the call side, we see 17,400 as well as 500. So now if you have to summarize this entire thing, it looks more like market is expected to trade in the range of 17,100 to 17,500 for this particular expiry. So that is how currently it is looking like. So we don't know how it will turn out to be on Monday, but right now based on the option chain data, that is what we can get to see, right? So now if I open the charts also, so again here I am expecting based on chart data, Nifty to trade in the range of 17,200 to 17,500. So markets might consolidate in this range for upcoming week is the expectation. So I might be completely wrong and markets can go anywhere. So based on this expectation, we have actually taken the positions. So now coming to what positions we have taken. So here you can see what exactly we have done is we have created a short straddle at 17,380 lots. That is 4,000 quantity total. So at 17,300, there's 4,000 quantity of short straddle as well as at 17,400, we have created 40 lots or 2000 quantity of short straddle. So if I have to show it to you in terms of option chain, so this is how it is going to look like. 
So you can see that at 17,380 lots as well as 17,440 lots, we have created short straddle and we have done a calendar spread. So how exactly do you do a calendar spread? Hedge it with next week or upcoming month option. So that is what exactly we have done. So you can see that near the break events, we have hedged it with the month end option. So this is September 30th, 17100 PE as well as 17500 CE. So after we do that, this is the payoff what we have got. So upside, we are expecting the range of 17500 itself and you can see my break even on the upside is 17500 which means based on the chart data as well as open interest data we have taken 17500 as our upper limit and downside i told 17100 based on option chain as well as 17200 based on charts so the break even is coming somewhere close to 17166 and that's the reason downside we have little more shorted because we are expecting the market to consolidate in and around 300 range itself so this is the view we are having for nifty and this is the exact position which we have taken right now so if market actually moves towards uh, 17600 and so on we can expect a loss of 2 to 3 lakh and if it moves towards 17700 we can expect a loss of 6 lakh and similarly on the downside as well but obviously we'll be adjusting the positions and will not be letting the loss go to such a great extent so this is the current positional update with regards to nifty so now we'll be quickly looking at bank nifty we don't have a lot of positions in bank nifty so we'll just look at the basic chart structure as well as option chain right so even with bank nifty when you look at the basic chart structure you see that it is consolidating in the range of 36 200 on the downside right over here it has taken support twice and on the upside you can keep it as 37 200 so even though it has not touched there so you can keep this as a broader range so this is the range in which bank nifty is trading so entire last week it has traded in this range so until this range is broken we might expect some consolidation to continue so again based on this and if we now look at the option chain also so here as well we almost see equal amount of put and call writing happening so even though the call writing here is slightly higher so the upside can turn out to be limited come for bank nifty because there is a lot of call writing and when we come to individual strikes so we do see some strong call writing already happening at 37,000. that is the call with the highest open interest right on the downside we have 36500 put which has some significant oi of 20000 as well as 36000 puts with 25000 so overall bank nifty might actually end up consolidating we really don't know because even oi data is not very strong to suggest anything so it can go up it can go down so based on how oi is going to get added tomorrow and day after that is Monday as well as Tuesday, it is going to help us understand what is the current sentiment in the market because with the current OI data, it is very hard to understand what we can expect from the market in the upcoming week, right? So again, based on this, we have taken a similar view, a simple short straddle at 36,700 where we have hedged it with 36,700 itself month end. So again, it's a simple short straddle and we have hedged it month end. And you can see the break events. It is somewhere around 36,200 to 37,200 where we expected the market to end. So again, if any movement happens below or above that, we will definitely adjust the positions and I'll be updating you same regarding what adjustments we made and how the new payoff graph is going to look. So this is the positional trade update as of now. So we will be getting more clarity on what is the sentiment in the market on Monday as well as Tuesday when people actually start to enter new contracts on Monday. On Thursday after the expiry, not many people would have entered the contracts on the same day for next week. So they will start doing that on Friday or Monday. So since Friday was a holiday, so we can expect them to do that on Monday. So that will give us a better picture as to what we can expect from the market. So next video will be putting out on Monday, reviewing the positional trade as to what exactly happened. And if we make any adjustments, if we see any big wild move and if we make any adjustments, I'll be updating you the same. 
So this is with respect to Bank Nifty trade and this is with respect to Nifty trade. So Nifty, we are expecting the market to consolidate around 17,300 as well as Bank Nifty, we are expecting between the range of 36,200 to 37,200. So with that, we also come to the end of this video. If you're liking the content on this channel, then please do hit the like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So if you are not following us on other social media platforms, you can do that as well by using the link in the description below. So there is links to Instagram, Twitter, Telegram, as well as LinkedIn. So do check that out as well. Thank you so much for joining guys.